Today is a big day guys and I am stoked to be making this video. I seriously can't even believe it. So 10 months ago I made my first YouTube video where I set the public goal of making $2,000 a month in passive income. Now that takes me to my goal of building my personal passive income up to $2,000. And why $2,000? Well, $2,000 is both a very rewarding amount of passive income and a very attainable amount of passive income. Three months ago, so seven months from that first video, I gave you guys an update and said I was 78% of the way there. So I was at about $1,500 per month of passive income. Right now, I'm 78% of the way there, which means I have passive income of $1,550. This is really exciting. i am almost hit my first milestone, my first goal, and this is testament to the fact that small actions repeated every day will yield great results. And today, guys, not only have I achieved my goal, I have surpassed it by way more than I could have ever imagined would happen over the past three months. The last three months have been absolutely amazing. My recurring revenue from all my revenue streams right now is more than double my original goal of $2,000 a month. It's $4,700 per month with a little bit of change. So I am just thrilled right now to have achieved this and you know 18 months of hard work of working at the business has finally paid off into something so tangible and i want to share this with you guys although i don't have a huge following yet on social media on facebook the fact that some of you guys have been there following me since my first blog uh, makes me super excited to be able to share this milestone with everyone and of course I'm going to go into more detail about exactly how I did this and I want to talk about you know the key change I made in the past three months that allowed me to add more income in the past three months than all of the other months of my entrepreneurial journey combined which has been about a year and a half uh, 10 of those months have been captured on this YouTube channel so this is the best feeling, you know, if any of you guys are still on the fence about going all in in starting a business and becoming an entrepreneur and building yourself recurring revenue, let me tell you that when you hit those milestones, it is totally worth it. Now, before I go into detail about how I made this huge change over the past three months, I want to show you guys some graphs I've put together and some milestones that really chart out the progress graphically and I think this is going to make it a lot more clear so I'm going to throw some pictures up on the video here and I'm going to go through those with you guys then I'll come back on and uh, explain a few more things really go into depth about the one thing I changed the past three months to take my business and profits to the next level and then talk about what's next for me and this channel. Okay, so in front of you is a chart and a graph, and I want you guys to follow through it with me as I explain it here. So the first row of the chart is January 1st, 2016. This is really when I started seriously making cold calls and trying to sell websites to businesses. So at this point, it was a simple WordPress website for a low upfront fee and an even lower monthly hosting fee. And... That, at that point, I had no, obviously, I had no recurring revenue because I just started. The second point on the graph is February 25th, 2016. This is around the time I quit my corporate job. And, you know, I still didn't have any income built up at this point. It was still zero, but I, I had enough traction. I had almost made a few sales through my cold calls. So I decided that, screw it, I'm going to quit my job, even though I don't have any income yet. And so at that point, still no, no recurring income. Now, July 20th, 2016, this is when I posted my first video to my YouTube channel. I had just secured $550 of passive income through the real estate rental. 
And I, at this point, I had had a good experience so far with business. I'd learned a lot. I had a business partner. We'd gone our separate ways. I'd incorporated. Um, we had, I had made quite a few sales of websites, but the way I had it structured didn't involve basically any amount of recurring revenue. So although I had made a little bit of traction with the business, with the digital marketing business, I had $550 from my real estate side rentals, which I've explained how I did that in some of my prior uh, videos. Then February of 2017. So this is about three months ago. At the end of February, I made a goal that said 78% achieve my passive income. And I was really excited at this point. You know, I had just over $1,500 of monthly income, which was almost my goal, my initial goal of 2000. And most of this was from, it was about, I think if I remember back, it was kind of two thirds real estate, one third digital marketing. And now, today is May 25th as I record this, 2017, and I have $4,737 of passive income. Sorry, I shouldn't say passive income, I'm gonna call it recurring income because as I've realized, although the digital marketing income is recurring. It does require upkeep and maintenance and talking to the client. So it's not fair to say it's fully passive, but it is recurring because it comes in every single month. And what I want you to look at here and the chart below shows it, but you can see it in the graph too. So we go from, from zero to seven months. I only built $550 of recurring revenue. Then from seven months to 14 months, I added a thousand dollars to that. So I went from 550 to 1550. Then from 14 to 17 months, over only three months, I added, you know, just over three thousand dollars of additional recurring revenue. And this is an exponential growth, which the graph below shows. So look at the graph below now. On the y-axis, we have the level of recurring income and the x-axis is time in months and it goes from zero to 18 we're at just around 17 months now since i started my business and as you can see the rate of increase really picks up near the end of the chart you know from zero to seven months it was very very slow progress from seven months to 14 months still quite slow and from 14 to 18 it really took off and the reason why it took off there is because I shifted my business model. And in the next picture I'm gonna show you, you're gonna see what I shifted that business model to. This picture right here breaks down exactly where the $4,737 of recurring income comes from. So $2,005 comes from real estate sub rentals. $375 comes from website hosting, and $2,357 comes from monthly digital marketing. So you can see this on the first, second, and third rows in, this, uh, in the top chart. Now, below, if you look at the big pie chart, it shows you in a percentage breakdown how much comes from each area. Now, as you can see here, the biggest percentage is the monthly digital marketing. And this, guys, is the change I made in the past three months that really allowed me to excel and move forward. I'm gonna to talk to you a bit more about this in a second. And what I wanna point out here is that when you look at the real estate sub rental, I have three properties and two parking stalls that I sub rent to make up that $2,000. That's a pretty good income stream. For the website hosting, it's taken about 18 clients to, and that could be give or take a few. I don't even remember exactly. I'd have to check, but it's you know somewhere between 15 to 20 because they're all on 10 to $30 a month hosting plans. Um, they make up the $375 a month of website hosting. So as you can see, that's not a very efficient way to make recurring revenue because you need so many clients just to get a small amount. Now, if we look at the monthly digital marketing, it's only taken four clients, which make up the $2,357, which is really where the growth and where the potential is. 
So again, what I want to point out here is that in the past three months, I added on $2,357 of digital marketing recurring revenue, and that now makes up a bigger portion than any other of those single portions. What's this big change I've talked about over the past three months that allowed me to exponentially accelerate my income? Fundamentally, what allowed me to get here is continually trying new strategies. And when I try a new strategy, I go all in on it and I work really hard to give that strategy a very solid effort. And when I see one that works, I double down on that strategy. You know, I talked more about this in my most recent video. Over the past three months, the new strategy I tried was I moved away from selling websites and moved towards selling monthly digital marketing campaigns. So what this is would be pay per click campaigns, which usually consist of three parts. Part one is the traffic source. This could be Facebook ads or Google AdWords. Part two is the landing pages. So you build the landing pages, the traffic source drives traffic to the landing pages. And part three, this part's optional, is the email automation. So for some clients, it makes sense for when a potential client or customer of theirs opts in on the landing page, so give their information, they automatically begin receiving emails on behalf of the company, on my client. So the three software systems I generally use is Facebook, Advertising Manager, Unbounce Landing Pages, and Active Campaign Email Automation. And you can charge $300, $500, $750 a month for these types of services. Um, I live in Canada, so I think in Canadian dollars. One of my clients is $750 US dollars a month, which ends up being around $1,000 Canadian dollars a month when you account for the exchange rate. So these, this is a very profitable business model because it gives you predictable monthly recurring revenue. And this is why it's better, in my opinion, than building websites, because websites you only get paid once up front, and you can only charge a small hosting fee up to a maximum of maybe $50 a month to host a website. And when you're talking about recurring revenue, digital marketing is what I found to be very effective. One big caveat, guys, that I have to tell you is that the $4,700 I have in monthly revenue is not passive, but it is recurring. The reason why it's not passive is that it takes time, it takes effort, it takes work to maintain these digital marketing campaigns. You have to check in on them regularly and make sure that the clients are getting the conversions they want. You have to make sure that the proper number of clicks is coming from the traffic source to the landing page. You have to check in with the client regularly. I check in every two weeks, call them, show them a report, make sure they're happy with the way things are going. And this actually is a lot of work. So it would be untrue to say it's all passive income, but it is recurring revenue that comes in every month. Now, the way that going forward I can make it more passive is to hire people to manage the campaigns. So I would get a client and I would onboard a digital marketing expert that I hire to manage the day-to-day -day operations of those campaigns, to check in with the client, to handle any questions the client has. And in this way, it would reduce my profit margin on each job quite significantly because I would have to pay those people their you know their salary their wage but it would make the whole operation much more passive in nature because i'm no longer managing them my contractor or employee would be doing that and that's exactly what i plan to do going forward on that same note going forward i'm going to double down on the digital marketing aspect of my business over the past three months, I've added more revenue through that than the real estate, than the website hosting combined. So that's proven to be the most effective. That's what I'm gonna double down on. I already have a few clients that I'm working on trying to close the deal and bring them on right now. So what I wanna say, guys, is this is just the beginning. I have tons of exciting things planned for 2017. This is going to be the year where I take my business abroad and take advantage of the fact it's location independent. 
I do have a few things to finish up before I can do that. I'm going to talk about that in my future videos. And for example, right now I'm actually in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, which is a medium to small sized city right in the middle of Canada. And I'm going to tell you all about why I'm here in my future videos. I plan to be more active on YouTube, do more of a daily vlog format that shows you, you know, the struggles, the triumphs, the wins, the losses of myself as I scale my business. And I'm hoping that you guys can take a lot of stuff that I share with you and use it both as inspiration to start taking action and building your business and on just actionable skills and knowledge to help you avoid mistakes I've made and replicate things I've done that have worked. Really excited, this is just the beginning and looking forward to seeing everyone in my next video. If you've liked this, please like, comment on the video, subscribe to my channel to get updates about how I continue to scale this digital marketing business.